Y'all, I'm using my throat chakra bowl. So what does that mean? It means when I hit this singing bowl, your throat chakra is going to be activated a little bit, be cleansed a little bit from the vibration. So that means y'all have no excuse before you get into this reading to let me know what's made you smile today. Or I always ask my friends, what is it that you've eaten today? Because I just love knowing about that. That's my own personal thing. So, hey girl, I better be seeing you in the comments. <laughs> Hello Pisces, how are you doing? My name is Simply Valka and I'm going to be doing your weekly love reading. Now, I also do your weekly general reading, which I'll put a link to over here. And I'll also put a link to your singles love reading for my singles Pisces. Um, if you are single, because this reading is for those that already have a person in mind. And this is reading is hopefully just going to give perspective of what's going on in terms of the situation and energetically. And it's up to you ultimately to make the final decision on what you want to do with this connection. Because put it in perspective, I'm just a man reading you some tarot cards. I'm not here to make your life um, decisions, right? This is just simply here to give you a little bit of perspective, hopefully to help you make your decision, right? So take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because I'm not gonna be offended by it. If you do find some cards that do resonate with you though, Pisces, I would love for you to give me a like and subscribe because it does help out my channel a lot. And also be sure to let me know the card that resonated with you the most or if there was something that I said that resonated with you because I would just love to hear about it. That's how I keep in touch with y'all, right? So I'm gonna be pulling some clarifiers finally um, for y'all. And then we're just gonna get into this reading now, Pisces. So on, there's been something all night, Pisces, that's just been like in my eye. I don't know what's going on. Uh, <laughs> I'm not even wearing contact. Well, obviously I'm not wearing contacts if I'm wearing my glasses, my broken glasses. All right, so let's get into this reading now, Pisces. We have the High Priestess card. Oh my gosh, I feel like I made it worse. We have this High Priestess card. Don't mind me as I pick my eye. We <laughs> high Priestess card coming in so anytime the high priestess card comes in i always associate this like i already kind of know that i'm just bringing forth an affirming message to really more so reassure you on what it is that's going on and like your thoughts and helping you make a decision on something rather than kind of revealing something to you and giving you something new to think about um also this high priestess energy represents i always it's like a mysterious energy right it's more of a guarded energy so you may be more guarded in terms of this connection at this time with them maybe like there's something that's kind of like having your feelers go off right now and you're just like, I don't know if you want to do it with this person anymore, right? Maybe that's what's going on in your thoughts. Or maybe you feel like there's in your gut connection that there's a deep connection here, right? On their side of things, they have the Empress card. So I do like this energy. I do like this. When I see the Empress though, this is kind of like that energy where you, I don't want to say like you have to win them over, but it's definitely, definitely like a more of a long-term investment in terms of getting to build this connection with them. Uh, Pisces compared to like the Emperor where it's like the Emperor you don't have to play a guessing game of what's going on with them you kind of just know um, the energy between y'all two Pentacles seven of Pentacles so this goes into the seven of Pentacles is like that um, energy of planting your seeds and then investing into your crops watering every day tilling whatever you do in a garden <laughs> weeding um, and bearing the fruits of like this long-term investment. That's something that keeps coming to mind, Pisces, is long-term for this connection. But let's get into the clarifiers of things, right? On your side with that High Priestess, remember that, keep that in mind. We have the Page of Pentacles, the Two of Wands, and the Ace of Pentacles. So this feels like I hear like, I just heard like new approach. I don't know if you're having like a new approach in terms of this connection or you're just having a new, perspective in terms of this connection but it's like there is some self-reflecting going on here with this two of wands it feels as if like there was like a period of not talking and you still may be going through this period right now with them pisces where you're not talking to them and it's like you kind of were really reflecting during this time of being like do i want this connection or not right i was saying that before with that high priestess where it's just like you were in your you just been in your thoughts you've been listening to your intuition but you're unsure if the, you're actually listening to your intuition or you're unsure if you should listen to your intuition right but i want to understand why you would be unsure about listening to your intuition if you actually have been hearing it right so we have this is like your intention this is what you want just in general whether it's with this person or with someone new you have this page of pentacles and ace of pentacles so if it is with this person what's going on right now isn't working for you you're wanting like some type of like um substance to this connection 
Pisces, you're wanting something to like actually hold in your hand and be like, okay, this is like, what are we? This is what this is very much so that energy of being like, are we boyfriend? Like, are we boyfriend and girlfriend? Like, whatever. And let's not add genders to this, right? Let's not overcomplicate it. Obviously, I'm the last person that cares about gender. Like, you just look at me. Um, <laughs> so silly but yeah this is just like an energy where it's just like are you going to commit to me or not are you going to present to me a ring or just like anything or what are you what are you looking to add in this connection right on their side of things remember their their starting energy is the empress card so remember i did say this is like an energy of kind of having to invest a little bit more before you get anything out of it but once you do um like open up like make this empress open up it's going to be worth it um, the clarifiers that I pulled was the Ace of Wands, the King of Swords, and the Wheel card coming in here. So this is definitely a person who... I feel like they kind of this whole... Like, they are... How do I say this? I don't... Like, they feel just high maintenance. Pisces. It, it, it kind of just feels that way, where they're just, like, high maintenance. And it just is like, well, it doesn't seem like there's anything inherently bad with this energy. It just seems like they have so much control of like what's going on emotionally for you. Like, it seems like they have too much say in terms of like this connection. It doesn't feel like an equal thing going on here. It feels like you're giving, laying your heart out. And maybe that's why you've been listening to your intuition a little bit being like, oh, do I even want this anymore? Because it's like, with this empress like you already have this energy where it's, you're gonna have to win them over and at that point it's like okay are they worth it right is this worth trying to win them over for um ace of wands with this wheel card and this king of swords this all kind of goes hand in hand where it's like they are in complete control of this wheel and like the way that the events will turn out with this ace of wands it kind of lets me know that they kind of know this as well they kind of are intuitive towards this and there's almost like I don't want to say they enjoy this, right? It did come to mind, but there's like a level of where they enjoy being difficult. Does that make sense? Wow, this is gonna, this, <laughs> I'm usually not this shady, but it's just kind of like, a, it just makes me kind of like raise my brow. Like, who do you think you are? King of Swords energy as well, where it's just like, I don't know. It just feels like they enjoy being high maintenance. They enjoy like making people work for them. And I'm not saying that you're part of this game for them, Pisces, right? But that's just what it seems like in this energy where it's like they enjoy being difficult. Like they're not, they enjoy being from a place of power. They don't want to be the one that leaves their heart, like lets their heart on their sleeve for the other person. Um, but I don't get anything, again, inherently bad when it comes to this person. It just is like, they're just, it's just ob obviously you can tell it's just not my kind of person. Like if someone's difficult to connect to, I just give up. Like I don't, I don't, like I am of the perspective if, if you're going to make it difficult for me to connect to you, I'd rather just connect to someone that wants to connect with me that I don't have to put a bunch of effort into doing it for, right? Because if they're making it difficult to connect with them now, what is it like in the future, right? You don't know what it, whatever. <laughs> you guys can clearly tell I'm just like already checked out from this person's energy. Um, <laughs> Seven of Pentacles energy is the energy between y'all two. Now this is again that long-term investments of for those crops. You don't get the crops, you don't get the fruits of your labor overnight. Um, the cards that we have as clarifiers, overall really good cards. You know, I have to take my bias and my emotion out of this connection here because we do have the Two of Cups, the Magician card, and the Three of Cups. So even though this connection seems insanely like high maintenance, difficult, girl, <laughs> I'm, um, it seems worth it. It seems like this is like the match for you because this Two of Cups energy, it does seem as if like you would be able to win them over. Um, this Three of Cups energy, it seems like a celebratory time, right? Like, it just is like, once you do win this Empress over, once you do win this uh, difficult person, and maybe it doesn't even have to do with winning them over. Maybe it's just like a defense mechanism on their side of where it's just like they don't want to open up anymore to people and they're really defensive because they don't want to be hurt again. It could be that energy as well, right? I'm just taking, I don't know why I'm taking this energy in terms of the way that I took it. But this, re let's give them the benefit of the doubt as well, Cancer. They could just be difficult to connect to because they just were hurt in the past. But it's like, 
Put it in perspective, man. Who hasn't been hurt by somebody? This is life, honey. There's no one that goes through life that doesn't get hurt. So it's just, y'all can tell. I just don't have patience for people that... Y'all don't, y'all aren't here to hear my perspective, but magician card comes in again where it's just like all really good cards this is letting you know this is a promising craft if this is like let's use the analogy if like a farmer were to come to me right now and be like oh should i plant potatoes or should i plant rice this season i don't even know if they even share the same season um you know whereas rice well actually that's not a really good example should I plant potatoes or should I plant avocados? Because avocados take a long time to grow, right? I don't know how long rice takes. I don't think rice takes. No, rice doesn't take that long. To... Girl, this is a tarot reading for love. Um, but yeah, it's one of those things where it's like the long-term investment, the avocado trees would be the most profitable for you, right? That's what this reading is saying. It's like, if you go long-term, it's going to be the most profitable. You're going to get the most fruit out of this connection. So... Take that as you will, Pisces. I do apologize ahead of time that my bias clearly was getting in the way of this reading. Um, even though this energy clearly just isn't for me, um, it, you guys did get like the best reading <laughs> from this set of readings that I've done tonight. So when it comes to this connection, it does seem promising. It's just a matter of, do you want to put in that kind of work for this connection? It does seem worth it, right? It does seem worth it if you do put in the work for this, you know? It does seem like a lot of happiness. It's just a matter of putting in that work, right? But yeah, that's all the reading. That's all the cards that I have for you, Pisces, for this week, for this love reading. Hopefully you did find some resonance with this reading. And if you did, let me know in the comments below and be sure to give me a like and subscribe before you leave this video. I love you so much, Pisces. Bye.